Uh, Justo Pozo, class of uh, 1980, College of Business Administration, the School of Accounting. Joe Caruncho, a 1981 finance major. Healthcare was really uh, a natural choice in terms of starting a business. It was a, a new type of HMO, an opportunity for doctors to become a lot more empowered in the industry. We started the company again in, in 1988 as a development stage. It took us three years and eight months to get to the starting line. We had to raise capital. Certainly a lot of dark moments along the way. We finally went live August of 2002. And from August 2002 through now, we've gone from zero to $330 million in annual revenues, 265 employees. We were voted the fastest growing private company in 2003. And this year, well, we made the, the, the 500 Inc., the USA 500 Inc. One of the great attributes that are, or, or, or necessities to, to be an entrepreneur is to be naive. It's not so much a conscious decision to take the risks. It's almost kind of a calling, and then you're in it, and your nature is to kind of fight on and do the quest. So we always really believed that, that we were always 90 days. Uh, we were like, hey, 90 days, if we just get past this, if we just get past this, and then, as I say, when you think the rat race is over, along come faster rats. Every entrepreneur wants to build a business from zero uh, and create a lot of value and, and be recognized, and I think we've done that uh, as a Medicare health plan here in South Florida. Something offbeat about me is that I, um, you know, I ended up being a, an attorney and an entrepreneur, and what I really wanted to be was a jazz trumpet player. I played uh, uh, trumpet through my third year of uh, college, and uh, my dream was kind of be be a trumpet player and and grow old and have a smoke filled little jazz club, and uh, and do that. And you know, at some point, my dad said, "No, but what are re what are you really going to major in?" <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's not as a trumpet player. We, we actually have a business plan post the health plan we, in some future. Yeah, yeah we, will, we will have the jazz club at some point. It's a... Of course, I'll have the boring part, the financial and <laughs> operations part of it. He'll get to play with a band. Yeah, you know? I'll be at so, the bar. I met my wife here in December of 70, 79 at PC 326. <laughs> it was right before uh, an exam. She came uh, looking for her cousin who was in my class, who wasn't there that day taking the exam. She had, I don't know what happened, but I'm glad. She was there, but uh, my wife uh, snuck, her head, uh, snuck her head in. I was ac actually looking at the door at the time, and it's just one of those things that you just have to get up and walk out, even though the exam was about to start. Spoke to her a few minutes, uh, told her that to come back after the exam, she did, and, and the rest is history. 26 years later, I had four kids, uh, and a license plate that says PC326 on her car. This company has uh, allowed us to do a number of things, both personally and professionally, that, that everybody dreams about. It's given us the ability of, of changing lives, and particularly with our, with our staff, had a lot of press around the culture, uh, what we call kind of the social architecture of our company. And, and you know, we have these young kids that, that were in their 20s that came in at entry level in, in 1998, making kind of low salaries, and, and now, you know, 15, 20 of them are chief operating officer or chief compliance or uh, directors of our departments and things like that and are making you know, significant incomes and, and, and raising their families at a level that, that they probably didn't dream of either.